Welcome back everyone to Kingdoms and Castles and welcome to Alpha 5 which I'm kind of surprised to see. I didn't expect there to be another Alpha before the beta. The beta has been announced as the 28th of April. I think Fig said the 30th but they're looking at getting it out for the 28th which isn't very long. It's about 10 days give or take um, which is quite good news for those of you that have beta access. So what have they done um, with Alpha 5? Well, just having a quick read through, this seems to be some interesting things. Now, this is fairly good. I did load up my old save, so the one that I was playing on prior to this episode, and it works, but it's still incredibly laggy. But the fact that they're not supporting it means that I'm not going to actually use it. It just seems crazy. Um, performance improvements, but again, I'm using an Alpha 4 map on Alpha 5, so I can't really judge that one yet. Roads no longer spontaneously catch fire, although they can, I'm assuming that's supposed to say rarely, catch fire from an adjacent tile. So at least they're not going to set on fire just because, which is fine. <laughs> that's one of the more annoying things. Fix the floating building bug. Now I've only had that once and that was, I think, in the last episode actually, a hospital. Um, retune how fast people eat and how much food farms and orchards yield. So... Retune how fast they eat it. Does that mean they're going to eat it faster, slower? It's a little bit ambiguous there. I'm not too sure. I guess we'll find out. Fix an orchard fertility. Can't even say that. F fertility scoring. Um, again, not too sure what well, that's going to change. And change the way resources are counted internally. Well, I've already seen how that works and it looks quite cool. We'll go through that in a minute. Um, They've added a market which employs five people with double carrying capacity. They bring food and charcoal from across the map to the market. Um, perfect. Now, I, I, I could not explain how this worked beforehand, but now there is a market and someone physically in the house um, that goes and gets the food and charcoal. It all makes a little bit more sense. And me reading these back to front makes no sense anyway. Um, but each house now has a head of household job. Jobs? Job? Hmm, I don't think that S should be there. Um, these people get food from the nearest farm, granary, keep, baker or market for their house. If there's no food in the house, people will go hungry. The head of the household also brings in charcoal, which is cool, explains a lot of questions. And finally, I guess I, I know why I read this back to front now. Dragons are stronger and more likely to burn buildings before they are killed. Yes. Interesting because some of them were ridiculously easy to kill and some were a little bit tougher. So, I don't think anything in the settings has changed. I did notice one thing when I loaded the game up, so I think it's more to do with the, uh, the engine the game is made in, because I think it's made in the same engine as Subnautica, so when you click play, you get like a little menu of windows, um, which asks me which screen I want and what kind of quality um, I want for graphics. And now there's a brilliant, I think was the highest one. So everything seems a little bit sleeker and a it seems a little bit brighter if I'm honest. I'm not sure if that'll translate through um, my editing process and through onto a YouTube video, but you know, we'll see. I do believe as well, before we click play, and I'm gonna talk an awful lot it feels like, I spoke to Steve about sound effects because I've spoke to Pete and I'm gonna call him Aether because I didn't realize his name was Jason I've not really spoke to Michael um, but I decided to have a chat with Steve the other day about sound effects in the game because I thought it was lacking on some like various buildings didn't make any noises where you thought they would and apparently they're actually working on that and it will probably be in beta but I did notice some of the buildings now make noises. There is more sound effects in the game, which really just adds to the whole experience. Anyway, while I'm going away um, on a tangent, I think we should start a map. This is still not available. I was kind of tempted to do this just so we could build, but I kind of like um, having the, the Vikings attack us and stuff like that. So let's have a quick look at this. Uh, I'd rather just one big solid island. That's not too bad. There's not a lot of dark green on these maps. That's the... Actually, let me just check something. See, they're not much more fertile, are they? Does he say they are? Short and mild winters, long, lovely summers. Peaceful land... Okay, it doesn't really say anything about fertility. 
What should we go for? Oh, I kind of like that. Let's go for that. Oh! Now, they did not mention that. I was quite surprised at that. Name your kingdom. Oh, jeez. I, literally, this completely caught me off guard. I was not expecting it. Although, I think this banner thing is something you can create as part of one of the packages that you buy. I didn't pay enough to do it, so unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not going to have one, which is kind of a shame. Um, oh, my goodness. Name your kingdom. Um, let's see. Have a look at these as well. I kind of like the blue. I really don't know. Window. <laughs> I'm not sure. This is the difficult thing. I'm assuming we can rename it later. So we'll just name it after me because I'm not very creative like that. Unpopulated land of vapor. A bit like my brain. Okay, so I'm going to pause the game if it's not already paused. As you can see, no, it's not because there's birds flying. Why will it not? Will it let me? Oh, there we go. Paused. Oh, it's down here now. They've moved it. I was looking up here. Aha. And it's got development build written right over it. Anyway. So we have the uh, wood, the stone, the food, the gold, the charcoal, is that iron? It is iron, and the tools. As you can see, they've changed all the icons. There's now some tool tips as well. See, they have made changes, and they've just not put them in the change log, which doesn't really bother me, but there is some kind of extra surprises, I guess. So let's go with our keep. Now, let me think. So we need stone. Which, in hindsight, I mean, there's quite a lot around here. We need trees. And we need fertile land. Now we have this here. This could be something interesting we could do with this. And have an entranceway coming in and have the castle kind of on the edge here. I wonder. That might be quite cool. Where's the nearest stone now? We've got a little bit of stone there and a little bit here. Okay, this isn't too bad. Now, the only annoying thing is this. So I might build it a little bit further back like so. If not changed that, that's all the same. I'll just have a quick look before we unpause it. See if there's anything we can see that's different. That's all the same to my knowledge. Does it say anything about doesn't tell you how many people can go inside those. They've not added that in. We've got the market. So it takes 10 gold, so you can't even build it initially. Uh -huh. Interesting. Okay. Oh, a mason. Repairs damaged structures. Now, I've been banging on about that for quite a while. <laughs> that it'd be nice if there was something that could repair buildings. Now, I'm guessing that won't repair buildings that have been completely destroyed. But more likely, probably like damaged walls and things like that. Um, you've also got to remember that some buildings can take more than one hit. So whether they're going to start now showing damage, because they tend not to, apart from the walls. Anyway, let's get going. Um, now, usually I run a road out here like so. And I think just to kind of start it, we're going to do kind of a similar routine as always. Oh, the rain makes noise. I don't remember that from before. <laughs> Call me crazy, but I don't. I don't remember it making noise. Remember the thunder? <laughs> Steve did mention this. <laughs> About the different hmms. Oh dear. I didn't I didn't wasn't expecting it in this version. I, I know he mentioned it, but Yeah, I wasn't expecting it just yet. Let's uh let's chop some of these down. And we can straight away then build a hovel. At least once they've chopped some of the trees down. Yes, there we go. So we'll build this way. Now, you've all seen me do this a million times. But I'm going to try and shake it up a little bit where I can. But again, it's about going through um, the various buildings there are now. And we're probably going to focus a little bit more on ideal ways of putting houses down. I didn't really want two houses, but never mind. Um... So I'm thinking, like, when we come to place houses, you need churches, town squares, taverns, and now a market needs to be nearby. So we might look at the, kind of some configurations that work well. We can't build that yet. Okay. How are we going to do for food? It's a nice little plot there, so I think we'll go with that. 
more like so. Now, may I say that the way food works is different, so it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. We need some more wood. So let's. Here comes the rain again. I kind of like in that. It's, it's good that it's. It's been added. So has no char charcoal. Far, too far away or non available. Okay. That's cool. Now we're not going to get any more people until that house is built. So I didn't need it. Now hopefully they will. I was taking some wood for that. And then more than likely they will come and chop these trees. Okay. Someone's working on the farm straight away. The winter has hit, so that didn't go very far. Let's get a couple of these in. Let's just go with five and see what happens. I, look, if, if this all goes completely wrong, I don't mind. But if they've retuned the food, it'll be interesting to see how much four fields on a fertile tile will cover. Although I know we've not got a granary or anything like that. Let's let them do that first. Right, we are going to need, I think it's a quarry, isn't it? So, stone is here, I believe. Yeah, it's there. So, if we come across here, let's just do a little bridge. Yeah, let's do it like so. And chuck you here. We're not going to have enough wood, though, are we? 15. So, let's, let's remove some of these. Perfect. How much does this hold? 50. Right, we probably will need a granary at some point, but we don't have stone, so that's not going to happen. What is everyone up to? Oh, wait a minute. We're going to have a lot of people farming. I forgot about that. So how much is that? Is that going to fill this place up completely? Oh, there we go. Food in pantry, 7 of 7. One sec. Why on earth did that come from? That, that rooster? Was that from the house? That's pretty cool. Okay. The question is, is how quick are they going to go through that? Um, we need a quarry. Let's get you in there. And we've really not got the people to be building everything at the moment. Because so I was thinking of a little, little stockpile over here. And we could put a forester here. Kind of keep them together. Food is looking quite good though. It might be worth chucking another hovel in. Let's go for it. Because we've now maxed out our food. With just five fields. So if they're not eating as much, or these are producing more, which it doesn't seem like they are, well, they make noise too. <laughs> nice. It's all in the details. There we go. That has a noise too. Fantastic. What the keep? Nothing. Prestige. Lots. A mighty keep to house royalty, such as yourself. Okay. What does that say? Oh, it's happiness. It was 60. I saw 66 and it, it threw me off. That's no charcoal, but they've got food. Okay. So stone is now being worked upon. Perfect. So we need a lot more wood. Let's chop some of these down. And we'll get a forester in here somewhere. Maybe here. But I'll run a road up. I think that's probably the best way of doing it. I think we're going to max out food. I will build a granary very shortly. I need stone and wood to be doing that. So Let's chop you down. And if we have what we need. We don't have enough wood. We do now. Chop Q in there. And what's this? Is this flooded? Heavy rains. Harvest lost. Wonderful. Do we have enough for this? No. So we're just short of a little bit of wood. How about... Stop out. We could probably, if we just... Doesn't tell you how much wood per tree, does it? But let's chop some of them. We need a little stockpile here. Kind of halfway between the forester and the uh, stonemason. Because there's quite a bit of stone just sat on the side there. And we need a well. There or there. Maybe there. 
So these five fields are, are quite happily covering this at the moment. They're going to send back more than 50 food, I think. Yep, so we just lost. Yeah, let's see. Minus three, minus nine. So at least it lets you know as well. Um, let's check a well in here. Um, now we're losing food again because of, <laughs> because of the rain. I suppose that's where the orchard comes in handy. Right, so we got some things going on now. So I would like to build a granary. Ah, there we go. Let's build a small one. Now, there's no right. <laughs> there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing right now. So for those of you that are like, need to build walls, defences and things, I'm just going to mess around and try different things out because we've got 10 days until beta comes out and I don't know if they're going to add anything else between now and then. So I'm just going to tinker around. So don't take everything I'm doing too seriously because just don't. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint anyone. I think we could probably go for another house, you know. Let's bring another hovel in. Now they want charcoal. That would make them happier, but I don't I don't think it's something we direly need. You've not got the red screen that you get when they get really unhappy. I don't know what really happens. I don't know if that's gonna have um, an impact on production or not when that happens. It'll be interesting to see kind of where they take that mechanic. So we've got plenty of wood coming in. They're bringing their own food from the from the farms, I think, some of it. So we're losing, we're literally overproducing in a sense at the moment. I think we're actually, we are producing more food than, I should have said they're eating less food than they're used to. Because they have four hovels with almost an equal amount of fields. And that wouldn't have worked before, which probably means you're going to get a lot higher populations now. I could be wrong. And then imagine if I chucked a baker in. Uh, I don't know if that actually tells you. Does it tell you yet? It takes wheat and charcoal and turns it into bread. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't say the. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The conversion rate between grain and bread. So is it one grain, one bread? Or that'd be pretty stupid if that was the case. But right, okay. So we have 15 people working. There's no one building because I'm just kind of watching and not really paying attention. It seems. So let's turn this off for a second. Because that will free me up four people, and hopefully they will go and build. I would have preferred them to have built the house first, but that's fine. Okay, we now have the well. I should increase the happiness. Oh, does it already say access to well? Have they changed that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already said it. Which is not correct, technically, because it, it wasn't actually built. So hopefully someone comes and gets this done. Some of these two wood. There we go. They give us another five people, which means we can switch this back on again. Although if these are now working properly, I can kind of manage what I'm doing. Right, let's see what happens with the food. Because we now got four houses and five fields. And no food in this one. I think they're bringing it in. They are. Fantastic. Oh, I did say this needed. Just, I said I did say to him. I said <laughs> the granary needs like a squeaky door noise, and there it is. I'm guessing they'd already done that. <laughs> oh man, it's starting to come together. It's really exciting because I've played it from alpha one, and all the little things they've added, and some of the bigger things as well. It just, yeah, it's it's so much better. Right, what do we go with next? Do we chuck an orchard in and just have a look? A look, see. Actually, no. Let's not do anything food related. Well, oh, here a dragon. Are you going to destroy anything? He's thinking about it. No? Is he just going to leave? Brilliant. I don't actually think we can build any kind of defences yet. No. So... Well, they're definitely producing enough food. Should we chuck another hovel in? Let's go with it. So that's one hovel per field. Let's see how that works. So what what I'm aiming for, and bearing in mind they could potentially retweak this between now and beta, is 
I want to try and help out people that maybe have not watched any um, Kingdoms and Castles videos and maybe have not played it yet. So those people that are going to be into, into the beta, if there's any useful information I can give, then that would be fantastic. Because it is nice to help. But well, I'm pretty sure before you needed at least two fields per house or something, something like that. But now it looks like... You need a lot less food. And bearing in mind as well, this isn't the most fertile grass and there is no windmill. So, we've probably got the, um, yeah, you got master workers, so you're getting a plus three for that. But as it stands, let's see what happens. Now, we didn't lose any of the harvest there. How full is this? This can hold quite a bit. Let's see how much we use between now and the next harvest. We are currently on the fastest speed. Now the thing is, I didn't like having so many farms, but if they've gone too far the opposite direction, so whereas now it's a lot easier to make food, I'm not sure if that will take some of the difficulty away from the game. I'm not sure. Depends how the Vikings and things work as well, because their attacks seemed a lot less intense. Okay, so food is definitely going up, isn't it? So we've got 150, let's call it. Let's watch it again, just one more time, just just to be sure. So they've used 10. Actually, that's one way of looking at how much food are they going to use before the next harvest. I might have to slow it down once they come to harvest. So they've used, well, 26. They're about to harvest any time now. So that's 30 food. It was about it was about thirty. Call it forty. Let's let's say forty to be safe. So, five houses have used forty food in a year. So that's not even ten ten food each. Even if you were to round it up to be safe to ten, that's ten food per house per year. And these are producing twelve. So ten, twenty, thirty-four. I'm producing more sixty. Is that right? Yeah, two, four, six, eight, yeah. Sixty food. My maths isn't brilliant, by the way, especially on the spot like that. <laughs> so one field will more than support one house. Or one hovel. So that seems fairly interesting to me. So I have no kind of enthusiasm at the moment around building tons and tons of farms. Which is kind of good. Because I think it really was a little bit too much. If you watched I was going to say the last series, but it's all been one continuous series. But if you watch the last couple of episodes, you'll see that I was moving my houses off the land and onto the water on the piers. Just so I had more farmland. But now, that's complete, like, 180 degrees. Is it 180? No, 360. There we go. My goodness. I don't know what's wrong with my brain sometimes. Okay. Um, so taxing unlocks ballista. So what do we need for that? We just need gold. So let's get our throne room on the side. Again, I'm not going for anything too pretty, although we do have our nice flags. I'd really wished I'd have paid the extra money to have my channel logo. But, you know, never mind. <laughs> I could ask them politely and see what they do. I mean, I'm pretty sure Biffa would like his T-Stained Biffa logo on there as well, but... Yeah. What have we got? It's harvest. Um, okay. Nice large houses and other things. Okay. Richard Rudd. I don't think I'm going to have one of these named after me, you know. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm happy or sad about that. We've got plenty of materials, so... That's going to give us gold, which will allow us to have the market. I'm interested in building this, though, just to see doesn't tell me what it needs. I would like to think it needs tools or something. Let's get that up and running. I'm, I'm really happy about the food, though. Now, once that gets built, that's probably going to attract some Vikings and things. So it might be worth my while. Just chuck in maybe a couple of towers in here. So maybe some really high ones. I say really high, I don't know if that's really high or not, but let's go for it. 
and just have some kind of coverage. <laughs> oh, let's have a look at this nice new building. So how many people does it take? It takes two workers and seemingly doesn't require any resources. I'm not too sure what that bird is doing. It's doing a vertical takeoff. <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like that before. That's brilliant. Okie dokie, so that's that. I'm not too sure that'll do anything for us right now. Let's speed the game right up because I just pumped every single bit of stone into here, so it's not like I can build much. Food is like ridiculous. Let's chuck another house in. Why not? I will go for the bigger ones. Again, we're just trying things out. We've got some nice space here, so I'll try some different combinations. I'm not sure if they've changed like the area that these things cover. I kind of hope they have. See, that's that's not big enough for me. A church I can't build because I've not got what I need. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but the, the area they cover... What sets that rooster off, I wonder? Because there is no day-night cycle, is there? Is that a new year? Maybe? Quite possibly. So we've, we've gone with six here. They've built that bottom one. Are we taxing anyone? No. So we need to stick tax rate of one. It's going to upset some people, probably. Oh, it's on fire. <laughs> they don't appreciate being taxed, clearly. <laughs> oh, a fire has started. Make sure to build wells. I don't remember that being reported before. Again, I could be wrong. I am oblivious and blind to most things. There we go. It's all coming together nicely. What is that about? Why is... What's this? <laughs> that would say somebody's homeless, but who? There's nobody out here. Okay, maybe a little bit of a bug. I shall probably have to screenshot and send that and send that to them. Kinda gain though. He does he does seem a little bit crisper. I don't know if it's because I can see the buildings a little bit more because I haven't got so many of them. But the graphics do seem a little bit crisper and a little bit sharper. So we now have six houses, six fields. Let's see how the food cups. I'm certainly building these pretty quick. How many did I put here? Was it four? Five. Six. How much does that cover? Need a little bit more coverage, don't we? Even if I put that there, I think maybe another one or two. We don't have the stone for that yet, though. There we go. Put you on there. I only want to see if it'll fit. <laughs> Come on. Play nice. I ain't got enough gold. So why did it let me look at it a second ago? What's taking gold? Odd. Okay. Whatever. He's playing funny games with me. That's fine. No Vikings yet. Although I'm pretty sure once I chuck one of these on, it it will um, it will cause them to attack. We now have twenty gold. So that is that's not bad coverage, is it? Oh, my gold is going. See? Ooh, is it? Go I think I'm guessing once I click on that, even if I don't place it. The gold grows. Let, let's try that. Let's watch and see what happens. It could be another bug. We're going to have to wait patiently now and see. Food is so much better though. I'm, I'm quite happy for it to be like that actually. Because I don't want to have to micromanage that. Not as much as I was anyway. Maybe you could tweak it a little bit more so... I don't know. I don't know. You have to let me know what you think about that. I think it's much better. So we've got six houses, five fields. They were producing 12. So it was, I did say roughly 10 food a house, didn't I? So they're, as it stands, producing enough food to cover those. Unless something goes wrong, like a fire or a flooded field. 
Right, so we have 23 gold. As soon as you click it, your gold is gone. So you, you then definitely have to build it. <laughs> so I'm going to have to... Yeah, that's definitely a bug. That isn't supposed to happen that way. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave this episode right here. It's been... Uh, it's been quite interesting seeing the, the few changes they've made. There is a couple of glitches around, isn't he? Even we have this out here. That could just be the angle that I was looking at. I don't know. But I'm definitely happy with some of the changes that they've made. And we have some new buildings. And all these other nice little things that even tell us that we had. Wow, this is f completely full. <laughs> I think we need another one. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. And Are you happy with the changes? Are you excited for beta? For those of you um, that have actually managed to get onto the beta. And for those of you that are actually waiting for the launch of the game, I, f I feel sorry for you. It's still going to be at least another month. <laughs> but I think, yeah, definitely we're going to we're gonna stop here because I'm just wittering on way too much. I don't know where I got the energy from today, but it's clearly there. So until next time, as always... Take care.